Hi there, and welcome back to Golden Empress Collection. Thank you so much for joining me. Aquarius, happy birthday. This is going to be for you, and we are going to be discussing your February and love. What's going on with love? A um, whole bunch of different emotions going on right now. So we're just going to kind of tap in. We're going to take a look at you and your other person and see what's going on. Hopefully um, you are embracing the passionate energy uh, that is around you. You have quite a bit going on in your sign. I know Venus just moved into Aquarius. So depending on what the placements are in your chart, you know, some of you guys can expect a little bit of turmoil to be coming. Uh, lots of opportunities to leave people in the past that no longer serve you. Okay. Yeah. People that are playing with your emotions. Okay, Aquarius. Um, this is a healing and manifesting channel. So you guys know that anything that I say here is definitely going to be triggering. All right. Uh, I want you to take that as it resonates. Take it as it resonates, guys. Parts may resonate. The whole reading might resonate. It's always best to get your own personal reading. Okay? Um, this is your energy. You're waiting on someone, or you were waiting on somebody to work through something. Work through their insecurity. insecurities is what it said. You know? Kind of like that. It's funny because I believe today is Groundhog Day, right? So the energy of knowing that someone is doing something over and over again and not learning their lesson. When do they learn the lesson? You know? Tantric sex. Mm -hmm. Someone was waiting for you or are you waiting for someone else? Oh yeah, you're in a makeup to break up situation. I pretty much already see this. It's it's Mercury retrograde. You know, you got somebody coming back around, someone that did you dirty in the past. You know, they do make you feel some type of way, um, but they definitely don't have good intentions because you two don't get along. There is some sort of vibe that you two share here. Tell me about this waiting on you. I'm not necessarily seeing this waiting on you as a good thing. Yeah, see, scorned ex-lover. Someone's pissed off. And Aquarius, I feel like it's you. You know, uh, you're still really wanting to be with this person. You're pining for this person in some way, shape, or form. Look, here's the deal. And I'm, all right, so Aquarius, like I said, it's just going to trigger. It is what it is. This person that you're dealing with, tantric sex can be powerfully beautiful or it can be powerfully disastrous, depending on who you are sleeping with, okay? Uh, only you know how this is going to resonate for you. So it could be you. It could be your other person that's feeling kind of scorned here. You guys ever see those pictures in the mirror or those, those memes where the best way for me to describe what I'm seeing here is someone looking into a mirror and seeing who they truly are as a person. Mm -hmm. Tell me about your other person. They had, no, I'm going to get one more on this tantric sex here. Yeah, it's an, it, like an addiction. There's some sort of an addiction. Definitely make up to break up. Yeah, but at this point, something's got to stop. There's an ice block here. Now, and that's because someone is working by themselves in this particular connection. Well, let's look at your other person. I really do want to pull some positive energy out of this, but that's not what I'm feeling here. I feel like you want there to be positive energy here. This makeup to break up is, is your fear. It's, it's what I feel. I want you to know you're not feeling this person. You're feeling what's attached to this person. That's what you need to know. They're karmic. Right there. Karmic relationship. What is attached to this person here? Toxic love will sting you. There's something that's harmful in this particular situation. Yeah, and it's someone you're dating, someone you're planning on being with, but this person is wounded. So I don't feel like you see the truth here. There could have been something, um, and it could be that they're finding out or you're finding out someone's in a relationship here. They're offering this relationship, but I, I don't think that, I think they're damaged. 
That's pretty much what it's coming up as. Someone is damaged here. You both might be damaged. Yeah. I feel like it's just a mess all the way around. Yeah, no. This person needs to work on their insecurities. I'm not taking all that. There's definitely, this is, you know what I just heard? This is what they want healed. Yeah. Oh, oh my God. That's a mess. Okay. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Let's go. One more on Aquarius's other person, please. Wow. Love being in your arms and kissing you. They tell you that they're working on themselves, that they do want to be with you, right? That's what they say. But again, there's a block here. Why? What, what's the block? You could be in pain too. It could be because of the things that you've had going on here. It's that made you wait. It made you mad. You fought. And it's crazy that because you feel like you two have a connection, but then you get together and then you break up. But that's because this person is a karmic for you. They need to work on themselves. They cause pain. They cause that toxic love. You know, it's just a part of their being. It's a part of those tentacles that just kind of hang down. You know, especially when someone is not choosing to do right. It's when it's part of their makeup, generationally speaking here. You know, what are we working on? We're working on our dark night of souls. That is our insecurities. That's our own you know, worse self. Look at that. that. This is, remember I said, looking in the mirror and seeing someone? Well, in this particular one, this person is choking the crap out of the real life person here. This person is so stuck in 3D. They are stuck in 3D. They want to be with you, right? Kissing you. The, there's, there's that, okay, so you, to me, this means that you're mirroring each other on the sexual aspect of this. This person wants comfort, but the, the pain that they're causing because they're not ready for a relationship, yeah, they're, they're getting ready to bounce. They want to be with you. They want to travel with you is what they're telling you. But right now they're dealing with something that they have got to heal. Look, see, I told you they're going to leave. The abandonment issues. They'll, they'll have sex with you though. I just heard that. They will have sex with you um, if you let them because they don't value themselves. They don't respect themselves. Jezebel energy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, you can't make it up. Jezebel energy. You guys, I'm hearing that for some of you. I don't like giving harsh, harsh messages. I don't. Um, but they need you to fight for yourself here. They need you to understand what's truly going on. Respect yourself here. When it comes to love and how you love yourself, there is a divine plan here, okay? But for some reason, I'm picking up on this person as being a snake and what it is that they're really truly offering you. I think that they actually see you, like they're backing you in a way because of finances is what it feels like. Like you're all the way over here. You're doing your thing. Right, Aquarius? You're making things happen. And then all of a sudden, there's a situation that comes in between the middle of you. So finances. This could even be another divine feminine. You know? Someone who's well-to-do. Someone that has a loyalty to this person as well. Because this is also competition. Yeah. For a player that has multiple relationships. Yeah. And, and literally, this nine of... How do I say this? This nine of wands energy to me is moon and Sagittarius. So there's going to be some deception there, right? Yeah, because fire with the moon might be something you don't see. You know, something that's on its way out is the energy I feel. Something that's on its way out. Tell me about Aquarius. I, you know, Spirit, guide me to the message that you 
benevolent spirits guide me to the messages you want Aquarius to hear at this time. It's this world card. I told you, you two are marrying each other. You're waiting on someone who's hurt. This is a lot of waiting here. I, I feel like at some point you're going to make a move here because you intuitively know what needs to happen. Okay. You know that the action that's going to be coming in, there's something that's up here. Yeah. Queen of Swords. Look at this. Temperance. There's going to, oh yeah, look, you got all these females that just came out. Look, oh, wow. Oh, yeah. All right. So Spirit's coming in to balance all of this out. You know, you want balance. They want balance. You want this person to give to you properly. All right. You want to alchemize the situation, especially with this chemical energy here. All right. There is a connection here, but this person is a karmic. It, it is what it is. Now, there's this delay coming in. They want you to wait. Or actually, Aquarius, I see them putting you in a situation where you have to wait. And you're going to have to be strong because what's getting ready to come out? See, look, this is in the reverse. So it's not a big deal. You can handle this because you're wise and you're you have wisdom, right? You're going to intuitively see that there are multiple people here. And I also see that you know that this foundation is false. You know it is. And as I say that, I turn my ringer off for this reading, but then my phone rings. So that's confirmation. Somebody's not, um, and the reason my phone is ringing, it, it's it's like a, a automated call that I have come up every day if there's something that I don't care for. You know, like it's a it's an indicator thing. So that says to me that this is an indicator that this person, yeah. You're going to take action to go get it, what it is that you want. I do see that. You intuitively know what is going on with this cup of love that's being offered here. You understand that it's someone's ego and that it's about having your cake and eating it too. But here's the thing. You are also going to be moving forward. You're going to be ending cycles where you were waiting. Okay. I feel like there's also some sort of secret here. Mm -hmm. There's a secret here. Something that's going to be documented, though. For, for some of you, take that as it resonates. I don't know why I feel like somebody's watching you as you travel in secret. If that makes sense. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah, your other person, again, they know that you're at a point where they um, are going to get cut off here. All right, so you're heading into something beautiful and blessed anyway because you recognize this shadow energy. I almost feel like for some of you, you're going to be receiving a message here, a divinely guided message to talk to you about how your path is to choose self-love. Yep. This is karmic justice for you. It's a blessing to help you deal with this person who tries to you know, I feel like they're going to defend this player way. They're defending their own player way here. Whatever it is that's looking at them in the mirror has its hand around their throat. And it's time for justice to come in and help you, Aquarius. We're, you guys know we do extended... Um, there are a couple of things that I do see here. I'm, I'm a little concerned because of this juggling. That was a lot of juggling. And I saw a lot of red when that just flipped over, but it was too many. Listen, we're at a point where judgment is, is literally coming in. And I was thinking to myself, Scorpio energy, and here it is right here, right? I know that this looks beautiful. I know it does. And it's tempting because it's tantric sex, because you, you are divinely guided to be like, okay, I'm normally by myself doing my own thing, loving myself, but you're waiting on someone who's scorned here. Yeah, that cycle has to end and it's going to be up to you to do that here. Aquarius. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's all about love. Literally, especially that love, that karmic justice at the bottom of the deck. It's all about love. Yeah, you guys might be dealing with a defensive Virgo here. Mm-hmm. And again, th this is also about this person who's going to go in and be quiet. Because remember that King of Cups that we saw and how he was looking at the back of her head here? There's something to do with some sort of finance. See, look, I told you. There's some sort of individual here. Sagittarian energy. This person is about to learn a lesson here in loyalty. I do see that. I'm not sure you want to be anywhere near that when that comes up. I do believe that as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you intuitively know this. I feel like you smell something, you sense something here. Sexually. Like, you know, I it's funny because I just came up with this phrase the other day and I said they reek of one night stands. Yeah, it's kind of that energy right here. You, the makeup to break up energy is because they reek of one night stands. And they could be a drinker. They overindulge and they party. Yeah. Wow. Aquarius. Okie dokie. What do we got? What do we got? Hermit energy for your person over here. Hmm. Okay, so they're actually going to have this come to Jesus moment here where truth is going to be coming in. There's this divine feminine, divine clarity about being able to move forward and possibly release these burdens. But you got to remember, I really do feel like this person is a runner. Okay, so what's going to end up happening is they're really going to have to think about what it is that they want to do. How do they want to give to this relationship, right? And the clarity that this person is coming to is that they're too deceptive to do that. They give to too many people here. They cause too much pain because of the things that they've done in the past as well. They're going to tell you that they want to release their burdens and they would like a new opportunity with you. I feel like they're really, are they looking at their emotions? Are they really doing that? Tell me about this Ten of Wands. What are they releasing? Yeah, they're releasing the relationship. Yeah. Offer of love is deceptive. There, There is a block here. It's that ice block that we kept seeing when we first started, guys. I want to know if you're going to fall into, into temptation here. I'm going to give you one on that. Does Aquarius fall into temptation here? And then the, the rest, we'll look at your other person's headspace. Oh, look, you're really conflicted about falling into this temptation with this person. Do you, do you do this? Do you recognize that this is, you know, whatchamacallit energy? Karmic energy? Someone from a past life here? Yeah. You have to step into your abundance. Somebody wants to be a wife here, but I feel like there's going to be a block because it's going to, yeah, there's some sort of truth, this Scorpio energy about what this person is truly doing, what this person is truly doing here, right? There's going to be a block because of finances. There's something that's coming up. Somebody needs to really think about what's happening here. You're doing very well on your own. Don't block yourself. Somebody needs to go. That, that this is, and I normally don't notice this hand, but there is the hand of destiny and fate is here, guys. Okay. Let me see something. What has been manifested in past life? What is it that Aquarius needs to know? There was well-being and strength at the bottom of the deck, financial health. Um, I did see a, a Leo energy, Aquarius. I don't know why, but I feel like that's another person. I also feel like because of that financial health coming out, I, I, I truly believe you need to take care of yourself and recognize this union for what it is. You're waiting on this person and it's making you angry, but you have to be able to learn to step into love here. Tell me about this. What, why is this going on? What does Aquarius need to know? And of course, 
we look at both of you guys when we go over into the extended healing healing beautiful healing the crown on the top of the head clarity of the mind very powerful energy i'm also seeing um like in a not an anointing but a like a a spiritual baptism in a way a feast i'm also seeing offerings because i see i see a bottle of like wine here in the back and i see possibly flowers so some of you guys may have this situation in your past but for some reason i don't see this this past energy affecting you anymore i see you finding clarity and peace within your own your own center and your own energy here yeah and that's going to be really hard especially with the fact that this person needs healing too um but with the fact that venus is moving into aquarius like that there's just going to be some sort of confrontation that comes up yeah so healing family issues i i swear it is having confidence someone needing to have confidence there's got look look at all of this leo energy here all right tell me about leo energy and the fact that it's mercury retrograde okay so I, I feel like any other day on this makeup to breakup stuff that you have, Aquarius, it's kind of insane because this person drives you nuts with their over ego, their vainness, um, just kind of egotistical, you know, <clears throat> my way energy, my player way energy, right? I'm going to give to what I want to do and I'm going to be by myself and, and just kind of be a recluse, right? yeah listen the fact that leo is in retrograde right now our, our mercury's in retrograde that leo energy guys there's something there take this as the opportunity to move away from things that do not serve you is kind of what i'm feeling here clarity i told you there's going to be clarity coming in here there's also yeah dreams some of you may have these dreams you may have some visions um pay attention to those like if you see something 24 hours before and then the next thing you know you know you thought about that person and then that person crosses your path that was for a reason it, it's there's a message there of some sort that you need to be picking up on okay all right so I will see you guys over on the extended. All of the information you need for me is in the description box below. I love you very much. Peace and elbow grease.